Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. So this is part 5 in common errors in ADF playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to tackle this error called execute pipeline activity fails to pass a parameter of array type to child pipeline. So we all know that if you want to invoke one pipeline from another pipeline, that means if you want to call child pipeline from the master pipeline, the activity that we need to use is called execute pipeline activity. So suppose you have a scenario where your master pipeline is calling your child pipeline. Okay. So suppose you have this master pipeline. So I'm just naming it as M and the other pipeline is child pipeline, right? So this is the child pipeline. So master pipeline is invoking child pipeline and suppose this child pipeline expects a parameter in order to complete the execution and the parameter value needs to be passed on from the master pipeline. Now parameters in data factory can be of different data type. It can be a string data type, it can be integer, it can be an array. So if this child pipeline expects a string or an integer data type, mostly it will not be having any issues. But suppose if this child pipeline expects an array data type, then there may be a chance that you may end up with this error called execute pipeline activity fails to pass parameter of array type to child pipeline. So basically if the child pipeline expects an array data type of parameter, then we can't simply provide the value in an array format. Suppose if you provide the value in this array format, it will actually treat it as a string and it will throw this kind of error. So we will see everything practically in this video. So please stay connected. So let's move on to the next slide. So here you can see this is how the error looks like and it says the execution of template action field, the result of evaluation of for each expression is of type string. The result must be a valid array. Okay. So basically it is expecting an array data type of parameter but even if you provide the parameter in the format of array, it will treat it as a string and it will throw this error. So let's see everything practically in the ADF pipeline. So let me go to ADF pipeline. So here you can see there's a pipeline called child PL and there's another pipeline called master PL. So basically master pipeline is calling or invoking this child pipeline using this execute pipeline activity. So we will come to this master pipeline later. First, let me walk you through this child pipeline. So here we just have one activity called for each activity in this child pipeline and inside for each activity we have another activity right which is called set variable activity. So what we are trying to achieve here is you can see this pipeline is having one parameter called input array and its data type is array data type. So it is expecting an array in order to debug or trigger this pipeline. So when you execute this pipeline, it will ask you for the value of this parameter and this parameter expects that we should only be providing the value of array data type. So here it will not accept an integer data type. So here you can see it is giving invalid value error or else if even if we give some string value, it is giving invalid value. But if we give an array type of value, suppose 1 comma 2, it is not throwing any error. So it may be an array of uh, integer or it may expect an array of string. So here you can see I'm providing an array of string. So it is able to accept this value as well. So I'm not going to click on OK uh, right now uh, else it will debug the pipeline. So this is just a basic pipeline where we have a variable called var and it is of string data type. So inside for each, we are setting the value of for this variable called var. Okay. So here you can see in this value, the expression is at the rate item. It simply means that for each of the iteration within for each activity, it will simply take the value from this pipeline parameter one by one and it will assign that value into this variable, okay, which is inside the for each. So if this, vari uh, if this parameter is having 10 values in this array, then it will execute 10 iterations for the for that set variable activity and it will have 10 execution of set variable and one by one it will assign this value to the variable okay and since the variable is of string data type so here we will create an array of string instead of an array of integer okay so here if i provide azure comma content 
so we are expecting that for the first iteration it will set the value of variable as azure and for the second iteration it will set the value of variable as content so let's try to debug this pipeline with this value as the pipeline parameter okay so let's click on okay and let's see if it works so pipeline execution is going on so you can see already two execution or two iteration of set variable is finished and the pipeline execution as a whole is also finished okay so you can see what is the output so for one of the iteration the value of variable is content and for other other iteration it is azure okay so this is what we were expecting now what we are going to do is we are going to call this child pipeline via this master pipeline so we have just dragged a child pipeline here in the master pipeline that's what this a master pipeline is all about so here we just have this execute pipeline activity which is just calling this child pipeline okay so here it's asking us to provide the value for the child pipeline parameter so if we provide the value just like this as we have provided in the child pipeline so i have copied the same parameter value pro, uh, and provided it here so uh, we are expecting that it will treat it as an array and it will give the same output as we have seen in the child pipeline it has successfully executed the pipeline with each of the values in each iteration so for first iteration it is giving azure and second iteration it is giving content right so let's try to debug this pipeline with the help of the value provided here in the master pipeline itself and let's try to see if it's able to debug the pipeline or not so it's in progress let's wait so you can see the pipeline execution has failed and if we see the error it is saying the execution of template action failed the result of evaluation of for each expression is of type string the result must be a valid array so basically it's treating this array value as a string instead of an array so here you can see the json code as well and you can see this value which is an array value is actually getting passed inside this double quotes and it is getting treated as a string instead of array so basically even if we provide the value as an array format actually the json payload is passed from parent pipeline to child pipeline as a string format so in order to mitigate this issue the workaround that we can follow is instead of passing the value in array format what we can do is here in add dynamic content we can use a function something called create array function so you can see this create array function which will simply convert the arguments whatever you pass inside this array into item of the array so it will create an array from the parameter which you provide inside this function okay so i will simply provide suppose annu comma kumari okay so now if we debug this pipeline we are expecting that it will treat the parameter as an array so you can see pipeline has already succeeded and if we check the child pipeline output so so here you can see one variable is having output as kumari and other value is having output as annu so this time the json has not treated the value as a string it is actually converting this expression as an array so basically this expression will be converted into an array and the array will be formulated like this whatever we we have provided it will become this annu then kumari and the quotes which we were getting earlier this double quotes will not be coming so this will be actually treated as an array and this is actually succeeding okay there is one more way to achieve the same outcome so basically instead of using create array function you can simply create a pipeline parameter in the master pipeline as well so suppose we will say param underscore input array and here also we will treat this as the array data type okay and instead of passing the value or function here uh, we will simply call this pipeline parameter so basically now we need to provide the value on the pipeline parameter level so here if we provide like this in the array format it will be accepting it okay so i am just providing like this 
So basically this will be treated as an array. We have already seen this scenario when we executed uh, the child pipeline for the first time without uh, master pipeline. So we have given this default value in the array format and it was able to take the value without any issue. Okay. The issue is actually only within execute pipeline activity, this value will be treated as a string because it is passing the value from one pipeline to another pipeline. So it is giving double quotes instead of uh, only taking it as an array. Okay. So if I try to debug this, now we are expecting that it will be successfully completing the pipeline. So let's wait. So you can see pipeline execution is successful and we will see the output. So here you can see AZ and content. So you might have got the crux of this demo. The issue is with the execute pipeline activity when we are trying to invoke another child pipeline which is having the pipeline parameter with data type array. We cannot simply provide the input parameter value in the array format here. Either you need to use create array function or you can simply point it to the pipeline parameter and here you can provide the value as an array format. Okay. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you find this video helpful. Please stay connected and please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.